Good Friday morning, Bob Brooks here. Today I want to talk about how to create content and where to find it uh, to build your business. But before I get started, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and notification bell. So why do I want to talk about content? It's the best way to build your business. If you're online trying to build a business, one of the best things you can do is create content of value so people will tune in to either listen, watch, or read. Um, you're talking blog, a blog, podcast, YouTube, something like that. You create content to teach people, help people, and you make connections that way. It's one of the best ways to do it is help others. So how do you create content? Where do you find the content? These are two big questions. When I first started on my YouTube channel, I felt I didn't know enough, didn't know anything. I didn't know what was I going to teach. I mean, what content could I possibly put up? It's all out there already. And I remember thinking, everybody's already done everything. I mean, I could just put in YouTube, how to create a capture page, and boom, tons of videos. And I realized, well, they're all different. There were a couple I liked, and there were a lot that just really didn't connect with me. It's not that I didn't like the person. They just didn't connect. The way they presented didn't work. And I realized, this is content, and they're all doing the same content. And then when I was watching television, I realized, with the program I was watching, it was a sitcom, I said, man, this is just like other sitcoms, just different people. Some I like, some I don't like. Depends on the characters. Well, when it comes to creating content, it's about, it's you could do the same content already out there. Don't copy. <laughs> That's wrong. But you watch what you want to learn, you learn it, then you teach it. Go back to high school or grade school, whatever you want to look at. Every teacher taught you math, English, the basics. They didn't create that content. No, that was not me created a book. They just taught it. They had already learned it, and now they were teaching it. So when it comes to content online, figure out what you want to learn, learn it, then teach it. That's the best way to build your business because you're passing on information you learned. And you could do that via a blog, a podcast, or a video like I do. But content is something you should be providing to people. A lot of people online are just selling, 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 and they're giving nothing back, and they wonder why their business doesn't work. The truth is you want a big business, you got to be out there and you got to help people. And the way to help people is by teaching them what you know. If you know how to build a capture page, make a video. If you know how to go research for content, what I do for researching content is I just go through YouTube because uh, I like watching the videos and they got the little button down there where you can watch them at high speed if you want. And I can watch them at time and a half and I'll go through the content that I want to see and I'll watch five, six, seven, eight videos about the subject. And then I'll sit down and I'll just kind of meditate a little bit and think about what is it that I learned and how can I teach it? Because everybody connects with somebody different. You might speak slower than me and somebody might connect to that. I have a very high rate of speech because I'm getting so excited all the time. But that's the way I teach. So content is all about researching a topic you want to learn. Maybe you already know the topic. But then just putting it out there for other people to see. And that could be blog or a podcast, or like I do a YouTube. You can even put some content on Facebook. Facebook, I use it more for engagement. LinkedIn's a good place to put content. I've seen people put it there. Uh, but the short term, the real quick stuff like Twitter and those, they're more for engaging people than they are for putting long content up there. But you can always refer them to your content on those things when you engage them. But that's what I got for Friday. Uh, if you're not a content producer, start learning and start looking for things that you can pass on to others and you'll see people get attracted to you. That's called attraction marketing, actually, is you're drawing people to you with the content you put up there. That's what I got for Friday. Tomorrow I have a Zoom, 11 o'clock Central. Uh, see you there, hopefully. Uh, talk. The link is down below. But we'll talk to you later. Bye.